This is Chang Dam. His name is Chang Dam and Pu Pian Jai, his wife. Nine years ago, Chang Dam and his daughter went to the training, went to our workshop at Pan Pan nine years ago, and then they decide to quit their job. Their job at the time is he opened a telephone shop. He sells cell phone and fixing cell phone for people in the town, in his town. And after the training, he think his work is not healthy because he work a lot, work too much, and work with some lead, some chemical a lot. So he want to quit his job and come back to live in the farm. After the training at Pan Pan, he designed his new farm. This is the plan for his farm. He has about nine acres. It's quite big land. Nine acres, quite big for two people to work. Actually, he has two daughters. It's about four people live together. And he dug very big and very deep pond here. It's about six or seven meters deep and it's about half an acre big this area and then he make the canal around this area so he can have a high island here this is where he plant a lot of lemongrass and trees and coconut trees this area he plant forest he start quite beautiful forest here and then after the forest, he has a small plot of sugar cane. He did not grow sugar cane for sell sugar cane, but he grow sugar cane to cut sugar cane and chop it and make it into compost. It's so good compost. And he has another small ponds this side, and then more trees in this area, and then he has. Uh, two paddy rice field here and here. It's not very big, but of this is about one acre only. So he used most of his land to grow forest. This area is forest, this area forest. Along the border is forest also. He has a little bit of garden here. His house and his office is here. And he has the guest house here. This house for his uncle. So, this is what he designed when he first came. And then, nine years later, what happened? Before he start to work on his land, this area used to be sugar cane and rice mostly. People grow a lot of rice in this area. No tree, they cut all the tree. This is after nine years, you can see the oasis in the middle of rice field. This is his area now. It looks different from before. This is half an acre pond and six meters deep. Now it's full of water. There are tons of fish in there. He cannot eat all of it. It's so many fish in there. And he has a canal go around the island. This canal is good place to row the boat around his land. It's so nice and peaceful. It's like heaven that he created himself. This is the forest area. This is nine years old forest. Many hardwood trees, many kind of hardwood tree. It's very beautiful. And one part of it, he grow a lot of bamboo. He can use bamboo for many things in his land. He can use eat bamboo shoot and he can sell it to make money. And the bamboo stem they use for building, use for many things. He can also sell it. And in the forest full of vegetable, he call hundred years vegetable. Because this vegetable you grow one time and it lasts for 100 years. You can harvest them as much as you can every year. Never grow them again. And you need to eat a lot of them. 
Some of them in the forest, under the forest, you can see this kind of flowers. It's edible, it's very delicious. It's in the same family with turmeric, like this. But Thai people eat a lot of this. But most of new generation don't eat this anymore because they were westernized. So they don't know how to eat local. But old generation love it. Many of them, old people, love to eat it. So he have a lot of ancient food here and new food also. This is kind of vegetable that lasts for hundred more than hundred years. This one, they can grow big and bigger and bigger, but the taste is so good. It's very expensive in Thailand now. This kind of vegetable we call pakwan or sweet vegetable. It's sweet taste. You cook with anything, it make taste good. So he has he grow a lot of them here. Under the tree or under the forest, with a lot of shade, he grow so many different kind of wild yams. Many of them is very rare; it's hard to find. But he is so diligent to collecting, looking for some of them. Like this one, they wrap around all the tree. This kind of jam is so good; tastes very good. So they grow. Most of the tree, he have some wild jam wrapped around the tree like this. He produce a lot of wild jam every year. And most of vegetable, most of green thing here is edible. He rely on sunlight for all of his energy in the farm. He use solar panel. It's the main energy here. He learned how to set up the solar system by himself on, from YouTube and from people. After he quit his job, he just paid a lot of time on learning about this. Now he have rice mill. He work in the daytime because the daytime is the time to work, the night time, time to sleep. So he work in the daytime to mill rice. He has three rice mill here and three refrigerators. Because he do seed saving, he have to save the seed in refrigerators a lot. And one uh, washing machine, this is make him have convenient life. And pump a lot of water and he fill the water for himself from the pond to use in his family. So he depend on the energy from the sun right 100% here. After the tree grow big, one kind of mushroom we call uh, the mushroom from termites. This one they grow a lot. This is very expensive here. This is one of the most expensive mushroom in Thailand. We call uh, head corn or the mushroom they grow from termites. He, also have a lot of kefir lime and fish from the pond. He just use ripe banana as bait to do fishing. He has so many fish in his pond. Every time when people come to visit, he never buy food from outside. He can catch fish to feed people and he collect a lot of vegetable and food to feed people all the time. He always gave some fish, vegetable, fruit to people who come to visit him most of the time. So he always have a lot of friends, never feel lonely at all. In the season of planting rice, he always have joint force party. He invite a lot of friends come to help planting. So each time of the party, they have more than 30 people came to his farm to help to do planting. It's a lot of fun because a lot of people, they love joking a lot. So people laughing and enjoy working together is 
It's a kind of community that make people feel alive. They feel connect together. We have a lot of fun to be here. So every people looking forward to go to the Joy Sports party every year. When people come, they just they did not just come for help, but they bring food to help also. So the host don't need to do anything. Just invite people come. They just come to help to work, and they bring food to share together and eat together. This is a kind of community that make everybody enjoy and relax. People feel good to be together because whenever we live together, we have a lot of food to eat. We have a lot of fun all the time. This is the meaning of life that he enjoy it so much. He feels so good that he decide to quit his job from the business person to be a farmer. Now he have so much freedom to go anywhere to do anything with friend. So they always have joy force party many times per year. So today is for his friend for himself, but the next week he will go help with another friend. Just help each other like this. This is the way we make the hard work become very fun work. Everybody want to come, want to help because it's fun and have a lot of good food. So if you work it alone, you will feel tired, you get bored. You don't want to do it because you feel it's too heavy, too much. But when many people come, it makes the hard work finish very quick. This is the beauty of Joy Force Party. And in the night time, everybody have a lot of fun. This is friend from Malaysia, Chinese from Malaysia. And this is Italian friends singing Italian song. Many old people in the village came to help to make some sweet. This is how to make sticky rice, banana, and wrap in banana leaves and steam it. This is very yummy. It's very old traditional sweet in this area. Chang Dam and his family doesn't have a lot of income but they have very little expense, but they have a lot of friends, they have a lot of food, they have a lot of joy to be at the farm. So he have a lot of freedom to go anywhere. He eat very good food. He have time to go help people in all over the country. That's why he has so many friends. He has a lot of time to do what he loves to do. He likes to do uh, he likes to set up solar system for people because he thinks it's a good energy. We can rely on ourselves more. He made some income from that kind of job that he loved, but he did not save much money in his life. He always changed his money into the natural resources. He used his money to develop his land, to dig more pond, to save more water, to grow more trees to have more food on his land. His two daughters, they decide to do homeschooling so they don't need to go to the school, but they feel very secure in their life. What he regret the most is he did not make decision to do this when he was young. He said to be self-reliant, it doesn't mean we need to refuse money. We need to refuse technology or we have to do everything alone. No, he don't need, we don't need to do that. We just let the nature work. We just support the nature and harvest from the nature. It's a lot easier. And then we can have more time to be with friends, to be with family, and enjoy being together. This is the most precious time in our life. 
why we have to work so much and cannot enjoy anything in our life.